Want to know what a $400 day pack looks like? This is what a $400 day pack looks like. Yep. This is the 3D Errorize 20 liter backpack from Jack Wolfskin. And yes, it's $400. So we can only assume that you're asking the exact same question we asked when we looked at the price tag. What the actual f But seriously, what does make a day pack this expensive? Well, I can't speak for every $400 day pack, but I can tell you about this one. For starters, it's made of sustainable materials from a company that cares deeply about sustainability. It features recycled materials and the whole pack is blue sign approved. It's completely PFC free and has all the features you want in a pack. A water bottle pocket, included rain cover, a hip belt with a pocket, tons of daisy chain attachment points, and a clever and customizable compression strap system. But mostly it's this innovative new padding system on the back, which, <laughs> drum roll please, <laughs> is entirely 3D printed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know, 3D printing is totally cool. I mean, check out this amazing self-defense cat keychain I printed in my local library. I know, right? But this is so much more high tech. For starters, the product designers used 3D printing technology in conjunction with state-of-the-art body mapping, which provides insights into which areas of a person's back need special absorption. After they figured that out, they created cushioned panels with tons of individual struts and structures that make for an open lattice type design that guarantees optimum ventilation while simultaneously keeping your back cool. The stretchy lattice creates multiple different degrees of firmness perfectly tailored to anatomical shape and maybe the best part? Because it's 3D printed instead of made by cutting and stitching foam panels or taut fabric, there's practically zero waste created. But is it comfortable? Functional? Ugh. Yeah. Now, I liked the Kingston pack we tested from the brand a while back. We'll link to that review below. And I might like this one even more, though I will say it's definitely missing some exterior storage. I really wish there was a stretchy front pocket and or a zipper pocket on the lid. But the hip belt was lightweight, flexible, and breathable. I appreciate that there's a pocket on one side. There are plenty of exterior attachment points for trekking poles and such, and it's nice and light. And packs down pretty dang flat. And that back panel is comfy and breathable. Maybe one of the nicest feeling back panels not made of stretched mesh we've ever tested. And yes, it's also available in 30 liter and 40 liter versions. It holds plenty for a day hike in pleasant weather. It looks super sleek and stylish, very modern. This is the silver color, by the way. It's also available in black. And I actually really dig the low profile daisy chain and compression straps. It's just super sleek. I mean, I like this pack. I like it a lot. So is it worth $400? <sighs> well, I don't know how you ascribe worth to things, so maybe? But would I pay $400 for this pack? Eh, no. Frankly, for that kind of money, I really expect to see more pockets at the very least. I mean, this pack is cool AF. It's comfortable to carry. It's a fantastic size and weight, and it's sustainably made. I really do like this pack, and I will likely carry it for a good long time. I'll even recommend it to friends. But $400 is a bit out of my budget for a backpack. If it's not out of yours, though, I definitely recommend it. Like. If you're a big fan of material innovations and 3D printing and all that, like, get it. You will not be disappointed. That said, there are lots of packs out there that are sustainable, well-designed, and not $400. Either way, we will put a link to this pack in the description below. You should definitely check it out. It's a cool pack. But before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming reviews or how-tos, like more ultralight backpack reviews. We're at Terror Drift, and then you like go watch some of these other videos because they're great. Okay, let's do it. Then, uh, you know, get out there, shoulder an ultralight, well-designed, 3D printed pack, and wander on.